we join you right now with breaking news out of Owings Mills. Fire crews are on the scene of an explosion at McDonough School. Now here is a live look from Chopper 13 over the school currently. The explosion happened around 8.30 this morning at a building commonly known on campus as the Shot Tower. Now you can see where part of it has collapsed. Two adults have non-life-threatening injuries and one student has been hurt. We also learned the school will dismiss students early today at 11 a.m. WJZ is live at the school. Investigator Mike Halgren joins us now with new details. A news conference was just held with officials. Mike. Uh, Lynn and Tim, we want to talk about those injuries and first say that there's no immediate danger here on campus. Now, the three people who were injured, one was a student who got hit with flying debris. Two of the people had to be checked out at local hospitals. None of the injuries were life-threatening. You mentioned this happened at the shot tower. That is a large smokestack that is attached to the boiler room. There's a main around it, but there are no classroom buildings attached to it. Now, there's something called the Ed St. John Center that's nearby that shot tower, and the staff and students who were in that Ed St. John Center did hear the explosion, according to the fire department. Initially, they went on lockdown because they didn't know what it was, and then they self-evacuated. Now, the fire department spokesman, uh, spokeswoman, Elise Armacost, spoke just moments ago about what they know and how they handled this explosion. Well, the fire department is in the process of clearing its units. Um, the first thing that our, uh, that our units did was set up a collapse zone, make sure that no one else was trapped in any, in a, in any adjacent structure. Um, we have determined that no one is trapped. And other than those injuries that I mentioned, there are no additional injuries. There was no fire here. We also should clarify that. There was no fire. So. What we have, we, there was some kind of explosion. We know that people are going to want to understand what happened here uh, in that regard. But as far as any continuing emergency, um, we're, we feel pretty confident that that's been mitigated now. And students are leaving right now. The official uh, time for dismissal is just in about 25 minutes. However, if they brought their own vehicles, they can drive out right now. The first fire truck that responded was from Randallstown at 831 this morning. As to what caused this, the fire department says they are unsure. They are letting the school investigate that. And there's also a police investigative team here on the scene. But the important thing to note, there is no danger at this this point. So this fire department units are clearing out, as Elise Armacos said, there is no danger to students at this point, but they're still trying to figure out why that shot tower exploded. Live in Owings Mills, Mike Helgren, WJZ. All right, thank you, Mike. And our team coverage continues now with Rachel Cart and also live at McDonough School. Rachel. Yeah, Tim, we're right outside one of the main entrances here to McDonough School. You can see multiple cars coming in and out. We have parents coming to pick up their kids, students leaving, staff leaving the area. Now, we spoke to several students as they were rushing out today, all seniors. One of them was actually hit by that flying debris. He told us it injured the bottom of his leg, but he's fine. He was able to leave school. Now, we also spoke to someone who said that the smokestack, that's what they're calling that building where the explosion happened, about one third of it is gone. About one third of it fell. We also heard from that same student that had this happened about a minute later, many more people would have been hurt because it was right around the time that classes would have been switched. She said that walkway is where an awful lot of students go when they have to switch classes. So again, a very fortunate situation in the fact that not many people were hurt and no one seriously hurt in this case. Of course, McDonough School is trying to handle all of our requests. We have reached out to them for any kind of statement. Of course, everyone's big question. What happened out here? We know that's under investigation right now. I think for the time being, parents are just trying to get here to get their kids, students trying to leave and um, get off campus right now. So, of course, we'll have much more information later on, and you'll hear from some of those students as well. Live at McDonough School, I'm Rachel Carden for WJZ. So here is what we know about this incident. There was an explosion at the shot tower at McDonough School this morning. Part of it collapsed. The shot tower is connected to a maintenance building, not a school building. There were some students and staff inside a nearby building at the time of the explosion. 
One student was hit by debris and two adults suffered non life threatening injuries. All right, and to let you know, McDonough School, of course, is in Owings Mills. It's uh, on McDonough Road. They're just off of Reisterstown Road, uh, connects between uh, Reisterstown Road and Painters Mill Road on the uh, western side there. About 1,400 students on the campus. Their website shows about 1,398 students total. And uh, of course, we'll continue to bring you posted, or bring, uh, bring you up to date. Their website does say that all afternoon and evening activities are canceled at the school. Yes, all the students being dismissed in about 20 minutes at 11 o'clock. That's the latest on the explosion at the McDonough School. You can get more online at WJZ.com.